Hey, welcome back guys. So in this video, we're going to talk about how to uh, make a realistic texture inside the blender. So in this video, this is going to be a uh, like how to make a uh, diffuse texture for uh, any realistic model. So uh, I haven't imported any model. We are just going to model simple barrier inside the blender. So this is not modeling tutorial. So I'm not going to guide that much about the modeling. So just uh, create a plane, uh, scale it on the X axis inside the edit mode, uh, press E to exclude it and then scale it on the y-axis right here uh, i'm making the roadside barrier so if you have seen that uh, then add a loop cut and then again scale it on the y-axis little bit but the this one should be less than uh should be slightly bigger than this one so i guess this is looking completely good uh yeah so i'm just gonna go inside the edit mode again and just add a couple of loop cuts so that this one become a square and with that said, we can add a um, subdivision surface modifier easily. So I have added a couple of loop cuts so that the barrier look like this. So I'm just going to go inside the modifier panel and add a subdivision surface, add a um, displace modifier. So just inside this, uh, before uh, adding displace modifier, press Ctrl A and scale the model so that there is no kind of deformation uh, in the displacement. So keep this to be a local and uh, make this to be kirk and i guess the two should be fine and inside the texture just uh, uh, select the cloud texture for the displacement i guess this is looking completely good uh, so i'm just gonna smooth shade this one and decrease the intensity to be 0 0.1 i guess ah, yeah 0 0.1 is looking completely good uh, okay so i'm just gonna increase this size because we don't want that much big of a size just uh, just i just want some kind of bumps which is really huge bumps we don't want that much smaller uh yeah before doing anything like uh sorry i just forgot this one before doing the uh, applying any modifier just uh, uh select the whole mesh go inside this view and first uh, unwrap this thing sorry press u and uh, hit project from view so that inside the uv mode it will just like uh what can you say if it's just like the um, whatever you are uh, you watch seeing in the scene view okay i'm just gonna go inside the wireframe uh, and then again press project from view and yeah right there you can see that this is the front side of the barrier and i'm just gonna put it right at the bottom and then go inside the side view and uh, just go inside the front view again sorry just to go inside the face view and deselect this Mm, side vertices like this i guess i'm just gonna deselect them all okay just make sure you don't deselect the this one faces just keep these side faces i'm going inside the side view and again project from the view and rotate this one in the 90 degree select everyone so that we can see the uh, uv image totally so i guess this is looking completely good so this is our our uv and dropping the uh, not much nothing much fancy so i guess this is uh you should keep the scale around whatever uh, how much do you want this to be um the imperfection so i guess this is the it uh in the modeling so i'm just gonna keep this uh not gonna apply this one so just go inside the shading now and uh add a material and i'm just gonna name it concrete barrier okay this is looking completely good so yeah mm, i guess i have said so i have downloaded some textures from uh, yeah i have downloaded some textures from the quixel i have right here uh, so um, you can download any kind of texture you want just it should be a concrete texture and some decals uh, from any side uh, any kind of site called uh, like texture.com or texture heaven which is texture heaven is completely free or you can download it from the quixel uh, by whatever way you can figure it out i'm not gonna tell it uh, just like that so um, yeah this is a concrete texture first one i'm just gonna plug this albedo inside the base color and the normal make this to be a non-color make a new vector normal map plug this inside the color and normal inside the normal way i'm just uh, just uh, keeping it faster because this is not a basic tutorial this is, this is just an intermediate tutorial so you should know how to add a normal map and just a uh, uh, basic maps uh, right inside the blender so i'm just gonna select this roughness map and make this to be non-color again and plug this color inside the roughness uh, right there um, so yeah i guess now when you go inside the material view 
uh, the material is gonna show up so I guess this material is looking completely good but still this uh, barrier doesn't look realistic uh, you, uh, we have some bumps you can just increase the size like 4 I guess yeah this bumps look now great uh, yeah 4 is completely fine size but I'm just gonna go inside the cycles and uh, yeah cycles uh, and make this to be a GPU compute not CPU uh, okay so I'm just gonna add a new light and light would be a sun and I'm just gonna rotate it like this I'm just rotating it randomly and make this intensity to be 3 I guess and inside the renderer you can see this cause we are gonna use the mix shader which doesn't really work inside the EV which is just gonna uh, make the whole material to be pink so we have to work inside the uh, cycle uh, cycles renderer so we can see that uh, this texture is looking uh, really good but still it's not uh, enough for the uh, barrier texture which is real texture we are gonna make so for that just select this shader and normal map and press shift D to duplicate it and put it right uh, above the first shader so I'm just gonna make this uh, uh, make space because uh, this is gonna be a real texture so this is gonna be a like complex little bit of complicated not that much if you uh, just uh, look at the video uh, just understand what I'm, whatever I'm doing uh, so now this is another material I'm just gonna plug this one inside the base color uh, yeah this one normal map make this to be a non color you know what to do cause uh, you should have this knowledge this is a basic knowledge about the blender I guess yeah Mm, and now make this to be non color again and plug this one inside the roughness value so now you can see that uh, this material is not going to show up because we have to uh, just right click and uh, control to uh, remove this connection and add this shader uh, at the material output surface so now you can uh, we can see that how this uh, material is looking so this is uh, material is looking something like this so we have to mix these two shaders so for mixing shaders we have a node called uh, mix shader mm, yeah so this is a mix shader node it just take output of one shader and uh, I'm just gonna plug this one shader right here and this shader uh, in the surface so now uh, if I just render this uh, this thing you can see right here uh, it has some effect of uh, bottom texture, uh, bottom shader, and some effect of top shader. I'm just gonna make this. I guess this is uh, yeah four. It is uh, okay. So uh, if you just move this factor to all the way to the zero, uh, it's gonna show up the top shader. And if you make this factor all the way to the one, so it is gonna show the down one texture. Uh, so we are just gonna use uh, a new texture for this factor so that it will. Uh, just give some random uh, or uh, realistic effect between these two textures so for random effect we usually use the noise uh, noise texture so we are just gonna use a noise texture right there noise texture and then add a color ramp so color ramp just uh, uh, does whatever I'm not I can't really explain what it does just now add a color ramp and uh, 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 sorry uh, yeah uh, now uh, add this color value to the factor of the color ramp and then uh, color value of color ramp to the factor of the mix shader so now you can see inside the render view uh, yeah you can see there is uh, nothing much effect just a little bit of effect here and there but we don't want this kind of effect if you just play with these two values like if you uh, make this white texture all the way to one side you can see at uh, in the some areas there is just one texture and in some area there is just another texture uh, like you can see right here uh, if I just make this to be black in the other side now you can see in this area there is first one shader and in this area this is a second one shader so I'm just gonna make this to be in this side and make this one to be this side so that it just look completely fine uh, so I guess the, the barrier is looking a uh, little bit of uh, realistic but still it is not that much realistic so we are gonna um, play with this nodes a uh, little bit more uh, so I'm just gonna adjust this, these nodes right there okay so 
another thing uh, another important thing inside the um, modeling anything you have to use decals if you uh, want to uh, make the realistic texture you have to use decals you can add the decals right above the texture inside the photoshop or substance painter but uh, those are two uh, paid software but we don't want to use anything paid uh, we are just gonna do it uh, right inside the blender so uh, here we uh, inside the properties panel we have a uh, option called UV map here we have a UV map name as UV map you can add another UV map like you can have a two UV map for a single uh, model uh, lot of people don't know this one because this is the most important part of this video so name this to decal sorry decals and name this to be main UV so we have two UV maps for this one which is main UV and decals so now if you go inside the UV editing uh, inside the UV map we have decals like this and uh, you main UV like this if you just now move this one to the side and this is the decal UV map and this is the main UV map you can see we have two different kind of the uh, UV map for the same texture uh, or sorry same model so I'm just gonna uh, open yeah open these is the decals so first of all i'm just gonna uh, play uh, uh, go around with this decal so we don't want to uh, add the decal on this side i'm just gonna move it uh, move this to the side and just scale it down or just put it at the downside so uh, yeah now select this one and uh, this is uh, we want it in the top part so just press g and y so that we could move it on the y axis and then scale it on the y axis right there and now again you can just move it on the y axis again something around this so now the main part is coming up you know, sorry inside the shading now the main part is coming up you have to again duplicate this uh, principal shader right there and just uh, maximize this one and this is the texture we uh, this is the decal we want to add uh, so uh, just plug this color one inside the base color and we don't gonna use the normal map so just delete the normal map you can still use the normal map if you want and we want the the decal look on the top of the barrier so uh, we are just gonna make this to be cut from the surface because the final surface is gonna mix up these three shaders so, so these two shaders are mixed it uh, right here so we just have to uh, add another mix shader so I'm just gonna select this and press shift D to duplicate this one and plug this one at the bottom and this one at the top so now you can see um, plug this shader uh, in the right inside the surface so if you now go inside the render view nothing is really gonna happen uh, cause we haven't uh, uh, tell blender that we have to use uh, second decal UV map for this texture So for that you have to just add a new node which is UV map node now plug this UV inside the vector and select the decal UV uh, Right for this texture and now when you render this thing you can see in just a minute uh, in just a second Yeah you can see at the top uh, like the uh, those kind of leakage showing up uh, on the top of this uh, uh, concrete barrier so uh, if you think the this is a completely one value so if you make this to be 0 0.5 you can see the changes you have uh, you can see the more of these and this uh, middle texture is become white, uh, black cause inside the UV reading you can see if you just uh, go inside you this is just a blank value so this blank value is considered as a black color in uh, in the texture so you have to plug this alpha value uh, right here this alpha value right inside the factor so that it just cancel out the black so uh, this uh, the uh, weird thing is happened that uh, we just have a black color right here and the whole decal right here so it's happened because we have plugged this to uh, mistakenly so we have to put this shader at the bottom and this mixed shader at the top so now if you render this thing you will definitely see uh, the leakage from the top of this decal and the whole uh, thing is looking completely good so 
uh, right here this is looking shiny too much uh, but the decal doesn't really that much shine so I'm just gonna increase this roughness so that it will the match uh, with this one roughness so you can still play with uh, this texture cause this texture is pretty much dark you can add a brightness and contrast texture right here and uh, you can just increase a little bit brightness like 0.2 I guess yeah 0 0.2 is too much you can add 0 0.1 0 0.1 is still too much 0 0.0 I guess 3 uh, yeah 0 0.03 is really less uh, yeah I guess this value is completely fine you can see the uh, leakage from the top so we have to add another uh, decal coming from the bottom so uh, just add new UV map again and name this UV to be decal 2 uh, you can add a number any number of UV maps you want but uh, remember that this is just gonna a little bit in uh, increment in the render time of your model so now I'm just gonna open up that uh, bottom texture right here and okay sorry just I'm just gonna get rid of this by pressing T and now you can select this whole thing and put it right down uh, or you can just scale it up on the Y axis so that it will cover up the whole mesh so right now uh, you have to again duplicate this shader so you can see we have a lot of uh, shaders going on I'm just gonna duplicate this one uh, and uh, now you can add this one texture right here and plug this one okay I'm just gonna minimize this one so that it look uh, it's become small and plug this color inside the base color and roughness is one uh, that's what we want now uh, just plug this thing and uh, duplicate the mix shader again now put the uh, put the new principal shader at the bottom and the mix shader at the top and uh, as we have done with the previous texture just put this alpha value right inside the factor and the material uh, the shader value inside the surface so if you now render this thing you can see there is a, a decal coming from the bottom but you can really see this is not looking pretty much good uh, which uh, we don't really wanted this thing to be happened uh, just select the part uh, sorry I'm just gonna get rid of this one so to fix this problem just select this part and uh, scale it down on the y-axis so that it just a stretch at the single point and move it all sorry and select this whole thing and move it all the way down uh, to this point and again scale it down on the y-axis like make it to be a zero like uh, make it a single point and now if you go inside the shading you can see right here there is a decal at the bottom there is a decal at the top and the uh, the barrier is looking really realistic so this is what we wanted so i guess this is it for this video so we will meet in the next one so till then uh, i have to uh, save something if you have any doubts inside this video because this one was a, a really complex uh, complex video about the material so if you have any kind of doubts you can uh, just go uh, comment down on this video or you can just go inside uh, go and open the link of my Instagram uh, from the description and just message me on the uh, Instagram I can uh, clear all of your doors whatever uh, no matter whatever you have doubts if you are beginner and you don't understand anything from this I can just clear up your all the doubts so I guess this is it for this video so let's meet up in the next one so till then bye bye